it's not enough that you're talented, you have the passion, or you have a good song. It's mm -hmm. not enough. And dami pang kailangan, di ba? Yeah. So I, oh, oh. I had to build uh, a team, you know, a team of people, the, the people I work with in Careless. Um, we've been through so much together. We've learned from so many mistakes, so many challenges, and uh, it's been uh, an amazing journey with mm, everyone. Okay, so you haven't given up on that, no. No. So tuloy tuloy lang yon. O bakit nagalit ang tao kasi umalis? Una nagalit sila dahil na, wala ka ng ka-love team. Mm -hmm. Diba may ganun eh. They want the love teams to stay forever, no? And then nagalit sila dahil pumunta ka ng LA. They thought... They thought I moved. You moved to LA, but... Yes. Well, I, I... I met um, one of the members of uh, Far East Movement. One of the members is Filipino, mm. and he wanted to bring me out to L.A. Uh, to work with producers, songwriters, uh, just make music, like practice, get better. And so I went to L.A. So uh, welcome to the Careless Crib in L.A. Oh, she was up. Ko, yeah. it, I saw on the news everywhere, James Reed moved to L.A. to um, chase his career in Hollywood. Anyway. I just yes, left. Okay. I just left. Pero hindi mo ba talaga pangarap yon? I mean, you can do it. I mean, you're still young. Yes, but I want to do it my way. Mm. Um, I want to do it from the Philippines as a Filipino artist. Mm. I don't want to move to LA and just be an American artist. That's mm. not who I am. Mm. Um, I'm Filipino, and you know, my fans are Filipino. My roots are here in the Philippines, so I want to make it from the Philippines. Outwards. So was LA good? I mean, the experience in LA. What it was you, incredible. What was your takeaway from that? I learned so much about music. I got to work with some of the best producers in the world, like, uh, for example, the Stereotypes. Silang nag produce ng uh, 24k, 24k Magic, right? Oh, of uh, yeah, Bruno, Bruno Mars. Mars. Yeah, and so I, I, I was very lucky. I got to meet these types of producers, these types of songwriters. I learned to make in only. Two months, I think I made 30, 40 songs. Wow. Where do you get your inspiration? What do you write about? It's, it's funny, before each writing session, it's like therapy. <laughs> they ask, what are you going through today? What's on your heart? What's on your mind? And sometimes the first two hours of the session is just talking, talking about feelings, talking about whatever, what's happening in the world before we start writing. Mm. So it's anything from past experience, um, sometimes we just make it up. Mm -mm. But after a while, you really start running out of things to write about. But um, I came back from LA with a whole album that I produced uh, called Love Seed. I released it last year. The industry now, the way I see it, because I've been here kind of forever, uh, it's really changing before all our eyes. Uh, so different from how it was before. Yeah. So then, well, we had, you know, our turntables. Naabutan ko pa yung turntable. And then, meron ka ng cassette. And then you have, of course, what else? A CD. And then you landed the top 40. I mean, the DJs determine what the top 40 is, but now it's really the public mm -hmm. because everything is democratic. It's all online. What do you think about that? Is that good or is it more difficult for an artist? I think it's good and bad. Like with most technology, there's always a good side, there's a bad side mm -hmm. too. It's good because anyone can now make music you know, anyone can make music and get it heard, promote themselves through social media, TikTok. Um, artists are coming from anywhere. It's not like before. Mm. Kailangan ng label, kailangan ng mag management. Kailangan ng audition. audition. Yes, oh. kailangan ng pera. But oh. then, bef now, it's, it can come from anywhere. Mm. So, it's uh, more opportunity. Mm. Mm. But I think the bad side also is it gets quite diluted. I don't know how to explain that. There's so much music that sounds the same. Right. Whereas before, it was more curated. 
Mm. The music was more curated. This is the music that's uh, very, you know, that's pushing us forward. Well, first of all, the music from before, you can actually sing it. These days, parang hindi mo na alam. It's really more like sound than it is lyrics. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, pero I, you still like the old music? I mean, are you are you aware of it? Do you sing songs of? I, uh, I like music that are fun to sing to. Mm. So, um, I guess in that respect, yes, I do like kind of older songs. Right. Um, my biggest inspiration growing up was Michael Jackson. Okay, but aside from recreating music, came from acting, music, learn music abroad, but he also now is a businessman. So aside from, well, these restaurants that we're visiting one by one, you're also now a talent management agency. Yes. Why did you get into that? Uh, I think what people don't talk about in the music industry is uh, the money that artists get from streaming is it's really not that much you can't survive as an artist um, on streams alone I think uh, one stream in America is worth ten times more than a stream in the Philippines mm. so artists here just aren't getting that much it really comes from being able to do gigs to perform um, work with brands that kind of thing so uh, artist management became a big part of what we do as well. Mm. Okay, so right now, Liza Soberano mm -hmm. is um, contracted with you. How many artists do you have now? Yeah, we have currently seven artists. Oh, seven. Yes, under Careless Music. Pero parang maganda yun ano, seven lang muna. Sorry, para you mm -hmm. can focus on each of them. Yes. Because if you have too many. Yeah, that you? becomes a problem when there's too many artists. You can't really take care of them. And I I don't want to add more to the roster, at least for now, mm -hmm. because the really, I guess, tough part about um, managing artists and a music label, you're dealing with people's like hopes and dreams. Correct. You know, they want to be a star. They want to make music. They want to perform sa Arneta. They want to, you know, make music for the world. Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's one in a million that actually get that chance. So mm. um, the tough part is you're dealing with people's hopes and dreams. So you know, putting things in perspective, mm -mm. managing their expectations, Ang hirap you know, so they don't get hurt. Mm -mm. It's um, yeah, it's hard also emotionally. Exactly.